Hi, this is Gary O'Neill with Koval Homes. Uh, I'm in great view today uh, with a homeowner that we just recently finished the construction of her and her family's home just almost exactly a, a month ago today. Uh, she's been so gracious as to allow us to take a few minutes and discuss her experience. So, hi Crystal, thanks again for uh, opening your home and welcoming us here today. No problem, Gary. It's nice to see you again. It has been a little while, but really not too long. Yeah. Uh, remarkably. Just shy of a year. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's so fascinating to hear a person's story in terms of uh, how they accomplish something significant. And in this case, building a home mm -hmm. is no less significant than you, anyone would uh, suggest it to be. What would you say your circumstances were during the course of construction and getting this done? So my husband's in the military. We are originally from this area and we knew that we were gonna to wanna to settle back in this area for good once he finished his time in the military. And so last summer, our boys, we have a 10 and 12 year old boys. So we moved ahead of time to get the process started. We bought the property, the house sits on a couple of years ago during COVID, during the pandemic. Um, and so we knew we were gonna hold on to it and build our forever home. And thank you again for trusting us with the building of, of your forever home, you and your family. But one of the ways in which we uh, truly attempt and believe we are successful at differentiating ourselves from other builders is uh, our construction timeline without mm -hmm. compromising con uh, the craftsmanship of the home. Uh, in your case, uh, 74 work days is what it took to build this big, beautiful home. Looking back, what do you think you did uh, to contribute to our mutual success? Well, um, as soon as Jason, project manager, would send me the bulletins, I would read those right away. I'd, sometimes I'd print them out, so <clears throat> I had them easily accessible and wanted to, when I wanted to remember what the next step was, I needed to complete. So I think it was super helpful. I'm a very organized person, uh, and I think Koval does a great job about um, pushing out those bulletins, like this is what's the next step, this is what you need to do, and these are the specifications that you need to have ready for the next phase of the project. And so having that organization uh, was all, was great for me. So uh, being aware of what I had to accomplish and how that had to be done was really important. Communication is really important. So um, also when I have questions, uh, Having my project manager, Jason, is really responsive. Nice, I, I would suggest looking back, you took ownership of your part of the process, which just makes it so easy then for both of us mm -hmm. to, to get it done in the time that you would hope it to, to be accomplished. So uh, for someone that's looking, considering building their own home, Crystal, um, what would you suggest they keep in mind or, or possibly do? Well, I think you have to be very proactive in what you want to accomplish and how that you accomplish it. So having an idea of what it takes, uh, all the steps, I think that sometimes you have to learn some of that as you go and sometimes you can be prepared for it. Mm -hmm. So being able to reach out to other people who have built a home and find out uh, what, who they used or how that process was for them was really important. So I think having a goal, being realistic with it, um, but also making sure you're following up. So sometimes if a subcontractor wouldn't get back to me, I'd try a different one who had the availability for what I needed. And so I think that was really important, just being proactive. Yeah, I would say you're a, you're a person of, of fierce determination <laughs> in terms of getting what uh, you want and, and deserve and all. Uh, last question. Uh, you and your two boys, your husband's going to be here soon. Hasn't seen the home quite yet, you said, but uh, he's going to be here this week. How have you enjoyed uh, living here? Oh man, it's giving me, a, not only are we on a piece of property that has a little bit of space between our neighbors, uh, it's just a, a sense of peace. I've really been trying to find gratitude for uh, the people in my family, friends who have helped me uh, in the process. I was really pushing just to get that home feel for the kids as well, so that they can look back and remember this to be their childhood home where they grew up uh, and not just moving around all the time. So that was also a big driving force is mm -hmm. to building that stability for the kids. Do not underestimate your accomplishment, your, your contribution 
uh, of what we were able to accomplish together. Mm -hmm. So uh, thank you for trusting us and giving us the privilege of building this big, beautiful home that uh, it's our hope that you live here for as long as you want and happily ever after.